Tesla CEO Elon Musk has an unusual passion project, a neural tech company called Neuralink that wants to put wires in people's brains. Musk co-founded Neuralink in 2016, and it remained under the radar until 2017 when the Wall Street Journal broke the news that he had established the company to, quote, merge computers with human brains, unquote. So, what has Elon Musk been able to do with Neuralink? By the way, make sure to click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our engaging videos, and use that trigger finger by smashing that like button. Now, let's get into it. Developing brain chips is a curious side hustle for a man who is simultaneously running Tesla, his space exploration company SpaceX, and The Boring Company, which Musk hopes will dig underground transit systems for cities. But Neuralink zeroes in on one of Musk's main fears, artificial intelligence. The entrepreneur has frequently been vocal about his worries that AI could one day overshadow the human race. He's founded a general purpose research organization called OpenAI, but Neuralink has a much more tangible, futuristic goal of making AI-enabled devices capable of interacting with people's brains. Musk's company Neuralink demonstrates a fully implantable chip in pigs. Celebrity engineer Elon Musk today announced a breakthrough in his endeavor to sync the human brain with artificial intelligence. During a live stream demonstration involving farm animals in a stage, Musk said that his company Neuralink had built a self-contained neural implant that can wirelessly transmit detailed brain activity without the aid of external hardware. Musk demonstrated the device with live pigs, one of which had the implant in its brain. A screen above the pig streamed the electrical brain activity being registered by the device. Quote, it's like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires, unquote. Musk said in his presentation, you need an electrical thing to solve an electrical problem. Musk's goal is to build a neural implant that can sync up the human brain with AI, enabling humans to control computers, prosthetic limbs, and other machines using only thoughts. When asked during the live Q&A whether the device would ever be used for gaming, Musk answered an emphatic yes. Musk's aspirations for this brain-computer interface BCI, system are to be able to read and write from millions of neurons in the brain, translating human thought into computer commands and vice versa. And it would all happen on a small, wireless, battery-powered implant unseen from the outside of the body. His company has been working on the technology for about four years. Teams of researchers globally have been experimenting with surgically implanted BCI systems in humans for over 15 years. The BrainGate Consortium and other groups have used BCI to enable people with neurologic diseases and paralysis to operate tablets, type 8 words per minute, and control prosthetic limbs using only their thoughts. All of this work is highly experimental. Since 2003, Fewer than 20 people in the U.S. have received a BCI implant, all for restorative medical purposes on a research basis. Most of these systems involve hardware protruding from the head, providing power and data transmission. These external components create a potential risk of infection and aren't practical outside a research setting. A few groups have experimented in animals with self-contained, fully implanted devices, but not with the capabilities that Neuralink claims to have. Neuralink's implant contains all the necessary components, including a battery, processing chip, and Bluetooth radio, along with about a thousand electrode contacts, all on board the device. Each electrode records the activity of somewhere between zero and four neurons in the brain. A thousand of them in a living animal would be the highest number the BCI field has seen from a self-contained implant. Neuralink's device, if it proves capable of transmitting data safely over the long term, would be a quote, major advance, says Bolu Ajuboye, an associate professor of biomedical engineering at Case Western Reserve University and a principal investigator with BrainGate, who is not involved with Neuralink. But the company's data has not been vetted by the research community. Three pigs on a stage isn't quite the same as peer-reviewed data. How the device can transmit that much data without generating tissue-damaging heat is not yet demonstrated in humans. Plus, Neuralink's device is, quote, pretty big for the brain, says Ajiboye. Its cylindrical shape measures 23 millimeters in diameter by 8 millimeters long, about the size of a stack of five U.S. quarters. In comparison, the Utah Array, which has been the go-to device for the BrainGate Consortium, measures 4 millimeters by 4 millimeters. 
That device involves hardware protruding from the skull and contains about 100 electrodes, compared to Neuralink's 1,000. Neuralink achieved the advance by experimenting with different materials, upgrading the antennae, and wirelessly transmitting only heavily compressed embeddings of neural data from the implant, along with other optimizations made possible through a fast feedback cycle, says Max Hodak, president of Neuralink, who spoke with Spectrum prior to the live demonstration. One of the company's latest prototypes is made of monolithically cast forms of glass that are laser welded together and hermetically sealed. The device so far has lasted safely in pigs for two months, says Hodak. During the demonstration, which was held at Neuralink's headquarters in Fremont, California, three pigs were led into corrals where they were able to move about freely in front of a small human audience. Gertrude, the pig with the implant, didn't want to come out of her corral at first, leaving Musk stranded in front of over 150,000 online viewers. She did eventually come out, with her brain activity streamed on a screen above her. Every time she sniffed, the electrical activity in her brain spiked. Once this kind of brainwave data is obtained, the big question is how to decode and interpret it. Neuralink has developed a surgical robot capable of inserting the implant's electrodes at shallow depths into the brain. Robotic precision reduces the risk of damage to brain tissue. Neuralink's first applications for the technology will be for medical purposes, likely for people with spinal cord injuries. Musk, in bold fashion, has said he wants to pursue non-medical applications too, further in the future. This has led to a lot of hype in the media. Quote, We as a field need to be very responsible about what we're claiming the technology can do and what application we're driving toward, unquote, says Ajiboye. By Elon Musk being in this field, there's a lot of attention being brought to it. That is welcome, but there are challenges posed here. One of those challenges is hype versus reality, unquote. He adds, quote, Neuralink has entered this race and is riding a fast horse, but there are other devices in development, unquote. Neuralink's most likely use, giving robotic limbs the feeling of touch. While Elon Musk is keen to extol the future merging of AI and human consciousness, some were more excited by the near-term benefits the technology could bring. Although neural control of robotic limbs has been around since 2012, Neuralink's technology could enable the next big step, touch feedback, sometimes called haptic feedback. Theoretically, this could be possible if Neuralink's chips recorded which areas of the brain are stimulated when we touch and interact with the world. And then the electrodes could use this information to stimulate the brains of people using robotic prostheses to simulate this sensation. Neuralink's electrodes won't necessarily have to perfectly stimulate the right neurons to generate this feeling due to the brain's ability to adapt. Neuralink's biggest hurdle also comes long before it tries to put AI in anyone's brains. Quote, to get any of these devices into your brain is a very, very high-risk surgery, unquote. For now, those goals are very much out of reach. Scientists need to learn far more about the brain and how it works for any of those ideas to become reality. The brain is still mysterious, and the neurological causes of things like anxiety and addiction are still unclear. In the latest Verge Science video, we explore what Neuralink might be able to do, and what elements of Musk's proposals need more science behind them. Some researchers said longer studies would be required to determine the longevity of the device. Musk said that the focus of the event was recruiting, not fundraising. Musk has a history of bringing together diverse experts to drastically accelerate the development of innovations previously limited to academic labs, including rocket, hyperloop, and electrical vehicle technologies through companies such as Tesla and SpaceX. Neuralink has received $158 million in funding, $100 million of which came from Musk and employs about 100 people. Are you fascinated by Neuralink? What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments section below. And hey, if you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so we can continue giving you the best contents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.